Welcome to our lecture online. Before we show you the next method, how to use the method of determinants or Kramer's rule to solve a system of linear equations in three variables, we're going to show you how to actually evaluate a determinant. What is a determinant? Well, it turns out it's a bunch of numbers between two vertical lines, but essentially what it typically represents is the coefficients of the x, y, and z variables inside the three equations. For example, if you take a look here, we have a 1, a negative 1, and a 4, and you place those three numbers right there. Then you have 5, 3, and minus 6, you place those right here, and 3, 7, and 4, you place those right there. And then you evaluate that determinant. This is called a determinant, and we're going to use the method of determinants to solve a system of linear equations in three variables. But first, what we're going to do is take a more benign system here. In other words, what we're going to do is simply write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 inside the vertical lines. So assuming that those were the coefficients of the three equations, how do you evaluate this? Because that's what we need to do in order to solve the, uh, the system of equations using that method. Also, what we need to realize is that there's signs associated with, the, with each of these numbers. So we have a plus, a minus, a plus, a minus, plus, minus, plus, minus, plus, and you'll see in just a moment how we utilize those. But notice, if we're going to evaluate a determinant, what we're going to do is we're going to alternately take each of these three numbers at the top. So notice the 1 appears over here, the 2 appears over there, and the 3 appears over here. Sign-wise, notice we have a plus, a minus, and a plus. We have a plus, a minus, and a plus. So you put the 1 over here, you put the 2 over there, you put the 3 over there, and then the signs come from here. Now, if we put the 1 over here, notice if we block out this column and this row, we end up with those four numbers, and those four numbers go in here in a mini 2 by 2 determinant. And then here, when we take the number 2 there, notice if we block out this row and this column, we end up with those four numbers, 4, 6, 7, and 9, and they go in that mini determinant. And then finally, we take the number 3, and we cross out this column and this row, we end up with those four numbers, and they go over here. Now, how do we evaluate what we have here? So we should be able to go from here to here quite easily. Now the next thing we do is the following. So this is equal to the number 1 times, now we're going to multiply these two numbers together, so it would be 5 times 9, and subtract from that when we multiply those two numbers together, which is 6 times 8. Then we take minus 2 and multiply it times the product of those two, which is 4 times 9, minus the product of those two, which is 6 times 7 like that. And then we go plus 3 times the product of those two, which is 4 times 8, minus the product of those two, which is 5 times 7. And so this, which is derived from this determinant, we write it out like this, and that means we're going to then calculate these numbers just like that. When we do, we get the following. So this is equal to 1 times, this is 45, minus 48 minus 2 times, this is 36 minus 42, and this is 32 minus 35. Simplifying that, so this gives us 1 times, 45 minus 48 is a minus 3, minus 2 times, 36 minus 42 is minus 6, and plus 3 times 32 minus 35, which is a minus 3. And then, when we simplify that even further, Notice this gives us a minus 3. Minus 2 times minus 6 is plus 12. And 3 times a minus 3 is minus 9. And notice minus 3 minus 9 is minus 12 plus 12. In this case, that's equal to 0. Now, that's not always going to be the case, of course. Usually it's another number besides 0. But at least you see the process, the procedure here that we use to evaluate a determinant. So once you know how to do this, with any sort of set of numbers, you could then go ahead and find the solution to that using the method of determinants, known as Kramer's rule, by evaluating particular kind of determinants. The next thing we need to do is show you what kind of determinants you need to evaluate in order to come up for the values of x, y, and z. But before we start, of course, you must know how to do this. 
So here again, you have a set of nine numbers inside of vertical lines. We have three rows of three. We take the first number up here in the left corner, put it here. Then we take these four numbers minus the middle number. Then we take those four numbers plus this number. And then we take those four numbers right here. And then we take each of these numbers and we multiply it times the product of this diagonal minus the product of that diagonal. The product of this diagonal minus the product of that diagonal. The product of this diagonal minus the product of that diagonal. Then you work it out simply arithmetic at this point and you end up with a single number. So whenever you evaluate a determinant, you will come up with a single number representing the value of that determinant. Once you know how to do that, we're now ready to solve the system of linear equations using the method of determinants. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to solve that system using this method. And that is how it's done.